Warning, the following video contains explicit language which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. Hello and welcome to this video. I hope everybody is out there doing good and having fun and enjoying life. Um, we are going back into the world of black tapes. Um, there is a storm coming through, so you may get thunder and lightning, or probably won't see the lightning because of the curtain on the window, but you may hear the thunder from time to time on the, uh, it may get picked up on the mic. Um, I mean, I was too lazy to put the curtain up. Um, you see T post in the background. Um, so without further ado, let's get into this. It's safer here with me where it can remain beautiful, extremely dangerous, and unused. Some people have unwittingly used it as they would a Ouija board. Yeah, um, the demon board thing. To devastating effect. How? Do you believe in spirits, Ms. Regan? Um, uh, maybe? Maybe. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> by, by the end of this, by the end of the season, Miss Regan may be really, really biased one way or another, or, um completely confused we will find out i guess well whether you believe in them or not they are real you can't take that for granted for the people who have tried to use this as a ouija board to try to contact deceased loved ones try to talk to their mother or father yeah um in this universe probably not a really good thing to do their lives are changed forever Imagine sitting down thinking you're going to talk to your dead mother and instead communicating with an extremely intelligent, powerful, ancient demon. Hmm, I don't know. Um, I tend to call those uh, politicians, but you know, demons, politicians, same thing. Did you know that demons are extremely adept at mimicry? Okay, forgive me, but this all sounds a little bit terrible. See, there you go. They're adept at mimicry. That's the reason why politicians appear to be human. Refying? <clears throat> Far-fetched. You're mocking me. No. So <laughs> um, I don't think she is, but, you know, I think his ego was so fragile that he takes it as being mocked. Sorry, I'm not. I, it's just, it's a lot to take in all at once. Do I strike you as unbalanced? Hmm, yeah. No. Do I strike you as the kind of person who would keep this board's planchette locked up in the opposite side of the house for no good reason? Yes. So, this board won't work without a planchette? Yes. It has no power. That's fascinating. Do you mind? As you like. Huh. That's interesting. Um, what I find interesting is you've got the little planchette things. And I've seen them. I actually looked them up. I was watching back in 2020 or maybe 2021 um, when they redid the uh, Stan by Stephen King as a miniseries. Um. There's a thing, there's a part when the character of Nadine, it, it flashes back to her as a kid and they have a flanchette that has a pencil in it. And I think those are called writing flanchettes. I'm not sure, um, but that's, a, that's just kind of interesting. When, and I'm not real sure, I didn't look it, I looked it up, but I'm not real sure how they play into the whole Ouija board, demon board thing, um, 
or how that whole thing works. Camera noises. I showed Dr. Strand the photos of Devin Williams' demon board and told him what he said. Azuzu. Kazunte. <laughs> That's my response to a lot of a lot of things like that. The Zuzu board. Zuzu is another name for Pazuzu. In ancient Babylonian mythology, he's often depicted as the ruler of demons. So you didn't inspect this board during your initial investigation? I tried, but I wasn't given access. Ah. The plot thickens like good gravy. Besides, my theory involved the participants being coached in advance. So do you think this is the same board? The board from that experiment? It looks like it. The thing is, is stuff like that, <clears throat> I know for, for like a second in the 80s, I was like, I want to say 6th, 7th grade. When, it was when the Friday the 13th movie started hitting big that um, Poltergeist and all, you know, about that time frame, that Ouija boards became, a th or at least where I was in Central Texas, Ouija boards became a big thing. A lot of the, the, the in crowd or popular people played with them and stuff. And which was weird because I was, I hung out with more of the kids you would have expected to play with the Ouija boards and stuff. But um, it was, it was, I think it was because like the, 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 the way the Friday the 13th movies, uh, Poltergeist, the stuff portrayed people is that particular demographic. And they were produced en masse. And they all looked the same. So, you know, I don't, I don't know how the things in this universe work. I thought so. Look at this. Here, on the back, in the bottom corner. What is it? Can you zoom in? Yeah, right. Oh. Strand had me zoom in on one of the pictures I took of the demon board. It was so dark in the room that I hadn't really noticed it, but on the underside, it was covered in scrawls and symbols. Again, completely illegible to me. Ah. Uh, um. I wonder if when she uses illegible, if that it's because she can't, she doesn't know what the symbols mean, or if they're like blurry, fuzzy, or what have you. But Strand had me zoom in and focus on one image that was quite familiar. It's the pentagram. In two concentric circles. And look at those tiny symbols around the circles. What do they look like? Are those, are they numbers? It appears so. <laughs> numbers and circles and pentagrams, oh my. Just like the numbers in the cabin where they found Sebastian. And just like the numbers in Simon Reese's room. Could you email these pictures to me? I'm going to send them to a friend who has a better grasp of this kind of thing. Sure. That's always cool. Um, Though I do know people, and I have, fr I have friends that are really religious. Um, I have friends that are really into, like, that are really honest to God, um, believers, you know, Christians. I have a few friends that are um, Jewish, some that are Wiccan, some that are Asatru and stuff, what have you, Buddhist. And they, they, they have honest, um, sincere beliefs. And it's interesting getting together and you have this you have this unspoken respect while trying to up one you know everybody and it, it's it's a weird thing and me being I guess the closest thing to me religious lot religious wise you could call me would be a secular Buddhist but you know that it it is what it is but um When you get when you get people of these these varying backgrounds of stuff that get together and are able to um 
the word I'm looking for? Um, cooperate and share ideas, not necessarily trying to change other people's mind, but just enlighten people of the, how they think. And I, that's kind of how I, I see Strand as one of those people that has friends that are that are like that. that he has friends that are devout in different aspects of religion or what have you, uh, paranormal. And he gets along with them because they're not trying to, to change each other's mind. They're just kind of um, clarify their point of view. And it makes for, probably makes for interesting conversation. From an experiment with a Ouija board to an ancient math-obsessed demon named Pazuzu, things were getting interesting. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if, it, if, 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 it's, if it's obsessed with mathematics, it's probably a demon. Um, as somebody who sucks at the math, I, 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 would, I, would, I would probably classify anyone obsessed with math, with math as some kind of demon. How do we fit a missing boy and a confessed murderer with bilocating abilities into this picture? The next day, I received this message. Hi, Alex. This is Peter Sodenfeld. We found that volunteer list you were asking about. The participant's name is Michelle Braid, and it looks like the last address we have for her is 547... I love it when they do that. There is, <clears throat> for me, there is something that brings authenticity to, to the whole thing. When they do that, when they, when they bleep out addresses, um, phone numbers, driver's license numbers, stuff like that. To me, that just that just gives it this 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 bit of authenticity, this this zeshikwa of making it more real. Um, and with that, we'll go ahead and call this good here. Um, and until next time, be a good human. Be good to other humans. Peace. Hey, it's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are?